Hey everybody, Dr. Lance from Bloomington Wellness Center again. This is our last time that we're gonna talk about lower cross syndrome. Well, maybe not. We might talk about it in one of the rooms if you have an issue, but this is the last time we're gonna do a video on three exercises that I wanna show you to how to strengthen your glute muscles. We're gonna talk about the glute max, glute medius, and glute minimus. So let's get started. Here are the three exercises I shared with you that I told you I was going to talk to you about earlier. First one we're going to do is, is uh, squats, just a real basic squat. And there's all kinds of different ways that you can do squats. I'm going to do a regular squat today. Uh, and I'm going to show you some different ways. And I'll talk about some different ways as we go through. The key to the squats, and there's all kinds of different ways you can do it. I like to have my feet shoulder width apart. I want to try to make sure that my knees stay behind my feet, that they're not going way over because then I'm working other muscles but I really want to focus on the glute muscles specifically. So I'm going to use my hands to balance, almost like I'm sitting down in a chair. I want to keep my knees back and I'm coming down. Now, some people may tell you get to a deeper squat. Some people may tell you to go lead to a partial squat. If you can only do a quarter squat, I'll take a quarter squat over no squats at all. But as you're squatting that down, we're coming down again, like you're sitting in a chair. I like to do 10 to 25 of these to start, 10 if you're a beginner, really focusing on trying to have form. If you need somebody there to help you, to tell you, are your knees staying behind your feet? Are you shaking? Those will tell you if you've got some muscles that need to be worked with. If you don't feel comfortable doing a squat, something you can do is grab a chair, set it behind you, something to catch you just in case you fall. Get yourself repositioned and do your squats. And it's there to catch you just in case. So again, with those glutes or with the, with the squats, we're focusing on all of those gluteal muscles and you'll get some of the other areas as well, but really trying to loosen up those glutes. Let's move on to our next and that's gonna be a lunge. We're gonna do anywhere from 10 to 25 lunges. There's all kinds of different lunges you can do as well. I'm gonna keep mine pretty simple. We're going to go forward with the left leg first. We're going to step and we're going to come straight, straight down with the knee. You can touch the ground if you want. You can stay up. Everybody will tell you there's a little different way to do it. But we're going to come down and come back up. We're going to alternate. Bring the other knee down. Make sure that your front knee stays behind your, your toes again and come back up. Again, we're going to do uh, 10 to 25 of these bringing that knee down. The benefit of not going all the way down to the ground, it's a much better stretch for those glute muscles. All right, so that's a lunge. There's all kinds of different ways you can do the lunge. You could add weights. You can do side to side lunges, anything to work those glutes. And the last one we're gonna talk about today for those glute muscles is a crab walk. This might not be big enough for me, but we're gonna try it. You're gonna take a band you might have something a little bit better. We're gonna go about the knees. We want something that's gonna give us resistance so that as we move side to side, and this one's quite, not quite as resistant as I would like it, but what we're working is the glutes on the side as we do that crab walk. And you can dip into it a little bit, almost like you're doing a mini squat, but we're using that resistance band to help us work those glutes loosen uh just to strengthen those muscles as we're moving so again that's called the crab walk and we're really getting the outside part of the glutes some of the inside but mainly that outside again those are three exercises that we can use to help us strengthen those glute muscles hey everybody to wrap things up with the lower cross syndrome first and foremost thanks for taking time to visit visit with me and follow along for the last four episodes uh, if you have any questions, if you're struggling with some of these or you're looking at uh, maybe these have become a little bit easy, too easy for you, you need to be more challenged, stop in, talk to your doc, uh, catch them during an appointment and uh, let them know, hey, can you help me with this or can you get me some more challenging ones? We will all be ha uh, happy to help you with that. Again, I want to thank you for, uh, for taking the time to listen to me, listen to me uh, Huff and puff as I get through some of these exercises, but thank you and uh, good luck as you start to work on that lower cross syndrome 
and loosen up some of those muscles and tighten up the rest. Have a great day. Dr. Lance, signing out.